From cracked desert soils to rainforest canopies thick with humidity, Australia's climate is one of extremes. And across the continent, native vegetation has adapted to withstand an incredible diversity of rainfall patterns. Here at the Australian National Botanic Gardens in Canberra, you can find one third of all known Australian plant species. And watering each one consistent with natural conditions is an exact science. The plants in, in some of the arid areas can go for extended periods uh, without uh, any irrigation. In fact, there's some areas that we have completely unirrigated. The rainforest gully is a different um, story. Many visitors will be aware of, of the particular uh, moist, cool environment that we have um, in order for that community to, to grow successfully here in Canberra. To satisfy the diverse watering requirements, each year the gardens need about the same amount of water used on an average summer's day across the city of Canberra. And now, thanks to a new Australian government project, that water will be piped from Lake Burley Griffin, an artificial lake in the centre of Canberra. We have a pump house that's located on, on the edge of Lake Burley Griffin, and we have an inlet pipe that goes out into the lake, about 150 metres. It's then pumped all the way from Lake Burley Griffin up to the gardens, approximately four or 500 metres. Previously, potable water was taken from Canberra's water supply. This project will free up about 170 megalitres of that valuable drinking water every year. It will also allow regular irrigation even in times of tough water restrictions, securing a reliable long-term water supply for the world's largest collection of Australian plants. There was no doubt about the fact that we needed to secure a permanent water source for our collection and basically what this means is a we ever go through another terrible drought like the one we've experienced in recent times, we will always have a secure water source. Before the lake water reaches the gardens, it will be filtered to ensure the safety of staff and visitors who may come into contact with the water. The $2.9 million project is jointly funded through the Australian Government's Water for the Future initiative and the Director of National Parks.